could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. And I definitely appreciate that. To all the new people stopping by my channel, hi, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you're notified each time I post a video. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, y'all. And so this vlog, you guys, is going to be all about crock pot meals. I will be featuring three different crock pot meals in this vlog. So if you want to see what those meals are, then definitely keep on watching. And so the first menu you guys is going to be crock pot meatloaf. You can use whatever meatloaf recipe that you like and just put it in the crock pot. However, I am doing one of my favorites that I made up. And so I'm just going ahead and cubing my onions and you can, you know, just eyeball it. I think I put in almost um, a half a cup of onions. I just don't like it to be too oniony and too bell peppery. I like for you to get the savoriness of the vegetables plus the meat. And so I don't like to do that many onions. And so next, I'm just going to go ahead and chop up my bell pepper. I'm probably going to do maybe um, like a half of the bell pepper and just go ahead and slice it and cube it just like I did with the onion. And so once I finish slicing and dicing those vegetables, y'all, I move on to my bread. You can use bread crumbs for this recipe. However, I like to use sliced bread. So I am just pinching off little pieces from the slices and adding them to the vegetables. Once you're finished with that, you'll go in with your seasonings. I like to use basil, a little bit of sage, um, cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, as well as pepper. I'm literally just eyeballing my um, seasonings, but you can measure them if you would like. So once your ground beef is added, you will add in your wet ingredients, which is your milk and two eggs. And you'll just go ahead and give all of your ingredients in a big bowl a toss. I'm using a fork because I don't like to touch it with my hands, but you can use your hands and just mix it faster. I am actually using two pounds of ground beef just because my recipe that I'm using, it would be enough for my family size, but you're more than welcome to use one pound of ground beef if you would like. So now that my ground beef is ready to go, you are going to line your crock pot with aluminum foil and you're also going to spray that aluminum foil with Pam. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and add in half of my meatloaf mixture and I am just going to make sure that it's evenly coated at the bottom of my crock pot. Now that everything is evenly coated, I am going to go in with a handful of mozzarella cheese. You can use whatever cheese that you like, but I like to just use the mozzarella. The savoriness from that cheese as well as the ground beef definitely tastes delicious. Once that's finished, I am going to go in with my next layer of ground beef and I am just going to scoop it on top of the cheese and call it a day. Thank you. 
You're gonna set your crock pot on a low setting for four hours and 30 minutes, you guys, and get some cleaning done. And when you come back, your meatloaf should be all done. And so I like to do a glaze on top of my meatloaf and that is what you will see here. But all in all, you guys, this crock pot meal turned out delicious. You can pair this with some potatoes and some green beans and you have a simple, easy peasy meal. All right, you guys, so my next recipe is going to be Italian chicken, potatoes, and green beans. So as you can see here, I am just using a regular Del Monte can of green beans, my zesty Italian dressing, seasoning, and then I am also using some chicken that I marinated in Italian dressing, and then finally some red potatoes. I typically use the golden potatoes, but they were out on this particular day, and so I'm going to give these red potatoes a try. So first things first, I am going to coat the bottom of my crock pot with some Italian dressing and just a little bit of water before I go ahead and add in my ingredients. And so first things first with the ingredients is I'm going to go ahead and chop up my red potatoes. And some people do leave these whole, but me personally, I think it's just easier for them to be chopped. So that way I know that they're cooked all the way through. So now that my potatoes are chopped, I'm just going to go ahead and toss them into my crock pot and I'm just putting them on one side of the crock pot because I will actually be utilizing three sections to house all three ingredients. All right, so the potatoes are added and now I'm going in with my chicken. You can either cube your chicken or leave the breast whole. I'm just leaving my chicken breast whole because I'm actually gonna shred it instead. The last ingredient that I'm adding is going to be my green beans. Make sure you drain all of the juice off of the green beans before you add them to the crock pot so that way it can sop up all of the flavors from the Italian dressing. And so once that is all done, I'm going to go in with more Italian dressing and I am just going to drizzle it on top of all of my ingredients. I typically cook this meal overnight and so you're gonna set your crock pot on low for eight hours and when you come back in the morning your meal should be completely done. Okay, you guys, so it is the next morning and my meal is completely finished. You can serve your chicken breast whole or you can shred it like I did. Y'all, it smells delicious and it looks delicious. And so let me know if you have tried this recipe or if you would like to try this recipe. I will have this recipe as well as the others in the description box below. Okay, you guys, this right here is going to be the simplest meal known to man. It's just a Mississippi pot roast. And I am going in with these two ingredients, the original um, ranch seasoning, which is like the dressing, and then the au jus gravy mix. I got the Kroger brand for 49 cent, and then this ranch pack was 99 cent. And then, last but certainly not least, you will need 
one stick of butter and I am just gonna cut these in two tablespoon pieces so that way I can spread these out evenly throughout my pan. Okay, you guys, so like I mentioned before, I fixed my um, longer crock pot meals overnight. So you're just gonna put your crock pot on low for seven hours, get you some sleep, and in the morning, your dinner will be fixed. And so it is the next morning, you guys, and my roast looks amazing. And so I'm just gonna go in with a fork and a knife and go ahead and shred it. You guys, this looks like per perfection so i'm just gonna go ahead and shred it and let the meat sit into the gravy so that way when it's time for me to um, pull it out later on all of the juices have been sopped up in the meat also you can pair this with your favorite vegetables i'm just using rice for my sides as well as broccoli help inspire you. Like I've said before, you guys, I am a working wife and mom and I love to come home to a home cooked meal and sometimes I just don't want to cook. And so doing crock pot meals, it gives me that opportunity to not only to have a stress free evening when I come home, but also have a home cooked meal. So hopefully you can use these recipes in your everyday lives. And if you have a favorite crock pot recipe that you like to use, definitely leave it in the comments below because I would love to try it out. I am all about crock pot meals, anything that is family friendly and budget friendly. So if you like this vlog, you guys, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never, ever miss a video, you guys. And until next time, you guys, I will see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.